Greetings and welcome, freelancers, to another alternate Thursday presentation. Uh, well, so since um, the Riftland ended a little bit sooner than I anticipated, I have to fill some time, and well, usually when I have to do something quickly and properly, Something breaks, so apologies for the sound quality on my mic. I am uh, I'm experiencing some minor technical difficulties that I'm hopefully will be able to sort sort out shortly. Basically, I had to resort back to my headset mic, which isn't great, but it'll do. Just I hope I, I hope it doesn't spike too much. Let's just try to knock that down a little bit. No idea how this sounds, because it's been an age and a half since I last used it. It's way too close to my mouth, though. <laughs> right, hopefully that doesn't hurt too many ears. No, anyway, uh, today's game will be Brigador of Armored Edition. A game that I picked during a sale. Specifically just because it looked cool, because you were piloting Max, and the soundtrack was advertised as being quite good, and uh, well, yeah, I, I agree. Other than that, I had no idea what this game was all about. So, we'll not be playing the story uh, for this game, because, yeah, it has a story, but... Mm, overall, it doesn't matter all that much since I think most of the game will be played in freelance mode. But essentially the backdrop of this game is that um, on a planet somewhere in the distant future or not, I don't know, uh, a great, the great leader has died and basically everyone is scrambling for power on the planet. None of that is your concern, however, you are being hired by mega corporations who would really like to get rid regain control of the colony now that the great leader is dead. Uh, but of course you do need to, they do need to get rid of some obstacles and well they really don't care who gets hurt in the process just that it gets done. So that's where we come in. And we get well, some pilots. I clearly have not unlocked all that much. There's just no way for me to do that at the moment because well, I've not played enough and well I'm still struggling at the control sometimes. Well let's just get started. There's like uh, three types of vehicles you can pick from uh, either mechs, tanks or uh, anti-grav vehicles. And I guess for this particular showcase I'll try to show them all somewhat. Uh, the mechs are classified in uh, who controls them. Uh, which faction? Uh, the loyalists usually use more military designs. I can't show you everything because if I don't, didn't buy it, it is restricted and I can't show it. So I do not know exactly what I can slot in where. Uh, but yeah, loyalists use more military types. The Corvids, I believe, use more whatever they can find types. And the spaces are generally a little bit out there in their designs. And some of the things can get really wild, but let's let's start with something simple. Now I have got... Let's just start with a simple main cannon and let's see what would be a good... Uh, let's use this one. A special... Let's go with the smoke generator. Alright, operation will just be using a random district. Because that will make sure that I don't have to... ...do too much. Hmm. Alright, well let's just see how far we can get. Engage. 
All right, and we're in the game. So we've got a main gun, secondary gun, and a special that I could deploy, but I really want to save that because there's a cooldown on it. We also have the mighty stomp. And I can crouch down if I want to evade some uh, damage coming in. Alright, so... If you've watched any of the um, promotional material of this game, you may have thought that this game is uh, played like a twin-stick shooter. You can play it like that, but... Uh, probably better if you don't and switch back to the tank controls. Because I feel that that does feel a little bit better than the uh, twin stick shooter controls they in input. Oh. I have to be a little bit careful because there is uh, directional armor plating, so if they catch me in the rear, I am screwed. Alright, let's see if we can find something to blow up. Now, uh, there's four structures, three captains, and some garrison troops. That shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Oh, we got some incoming. Now, as you can see, we have uh, basically structure and shielding. Shielding you can recover pretty much and even overcharge a little bit. Structure, once that's gone, it's gone. There's no way to repair it during the mission. Well, let's just keep exploring. Seeing if I can... Ah, there's something we can blow up. Blowing something up usually triggers a reaction of some kind. There it is. Let's deploy smoke. Alright, let's not stick around. There's nothing else down here. And an ammo dump. Alright, let's make use of that. Ooh, a captain. Got him. Since the alarm is not yet raised, they don't stop with their shields raised up, so... Most of the vehicles are a little bit weak yet. If they ever do get uh, the alarm going, that's probably not that good for me. Well, it looks like the uh, garrison is gone. I do have to be a little bit careful about the explosions. Right, and that's the captains. Let's see what else is here to blow up. Right, another ammo depot. There's an ammo type that I don't use, so I don't care if I blow it up. Let's see, there's nothing in this direction. Right, here's a gun. I don't feel like walking around. That... It's also a little bit risky to shooting into buildings like that, because you may hit yourself. And uh, there's still another tower over here that I can blow up.
Another ammo dump. Oh, we got incoming. Yeah, you get money for everything you blow up, so... There's no reason to not uh, go wild or spare anything if you don't want to. Just be careful about things that can blow up, like uh, fuel stations and such. Because that will really tear through your shields and your hull plating. I'm trying to see where there's anything I've missed. I've missed quite a lot. Where is that ammo depot I found before? ammo in my uh, magazine so I may have to make use more use of this thing I'll leave it be for now all right something is storming about all right let's refuel or a uh, race tag yeah let's just blow it up and comp tower is down. Now where's the substations? It's probably this way. Damn graves, get out of the way. Substations. And now the lights are out in the district. All right, just one more target remaining. Plus the depot. Now let's go. Take care of the depot then, since that's uh, this way. And it's empty. Well, then it's of no use to me. Just one more orbital gun remaining. And so far nobody has raised the alarm, so... I'm gonna get a bonus. smashing buildings because I uh, don't want to, it's just mostly it slows me down too much. I mean this make mech isn't all that slow but most of them are not the fastest vehicle around. Yay! Alright, let's go change my vehicle over to a tank. Let's see what's a good tank. Mm, that's probably a little bit too high profile. Let's also find something that has uses slightly different ammunition. Let's see what we're 
Alright, so... Yeah, let's uh, use him. That vehicle. Now we only have the heavy machine gun. Uh, that's no fun. Just the machine gun. Let's go with the kill war then. A different gun, and we'll use the uh, broiler. Mm, I do have some money, I could requisition something. Go with broiler. And as a special, let's take the EMP grenade. Right. Operation Random District. Deploy. And totally different environment. Now, tanks obviously cannot uh, stomp. So they charge. Right, three. Where are we going? Uh, looks like a fairly simple district. Oh. Uh, just have a range. Slow tank, yeah, that's not to my advantage. Alright, screw you. EMP deployed. It's kind of nice of the garrison to come to me. And not close enough, alright. Come on. Clearly gonna need a little bit more ammunition at this rate. But so far no structure damage, so that's good. Uh, tanks are not my favorite vehicle to use in this instance, but they have their purpose. Alright, I'll let depot down. Really do with finding the communication tower. Where is it? I don't I guess this way. all through the fancy neighborhood. That looks like a competent vehicle. No, it's not. Right, substation towers, that's fine. I can deal with that.
Alright, and we'll continue this next time. Thank you all for watching. See you then.